This is Code Combat. I'm working on the Python version. I'm currently on Master of Names. If you're doing it as a class, this is Introduction to Computer Science, level 16. Goals. Your hero must survive. Defeat the three ogres. Variables contain information to be referenced later. You can assign a new value to a variable anytime you want. Use find nearest enemy to target the nearest enemy. Closest enemy equals hero, find nearest enemy. All right. So variables in code work just like variables in math, right? So if I had in math 37 plus x equals 40. Oh, we know x then must equal 3. So this x is representing something else. Up here we have hero enemy 1. Well, I'm going to take this. Watch. In math, you could also use enemy 1. Here, 37 plus enemy 1. Enemy 1 there really means 3. It's something in, that's symbolizing another item. So this variable way up here where they use enemy 1, our hero looks around. Oop, there's even more up here. Our hero is going to look around and say, oh, who is near me? I'm going to now name them enemy one, like our hero does here, okay? So what we're then going to do, and these are just comments. Those are hints for us, right? They're not read by the computer. What we're then going to do is attack who we just named enemy one twice. Now, what we want to do, I believe, oh, it already has it. Our hero, let's hit run, is going to look around again, looks around again, and names this guy enemy I'm going to pause that. It's going so fast. Looks around again. And see how this enemy is named enemy 2? Because our hero looked around again. Hero, find nearest enemy. Oh, well, the closest enemy now is hit that person. And now their name is enemy 2. Okay. So it also doesn't have to be enemy. That's just what we're using to mean the closest enemy. I am going to use cat. It doesn't matter. Cat now equals, when our hero looks around, the closest enemy our hero is going to name is cat. Watch. Oh, no. Let's rerun this. There we are. And if I pause this, notice cat right here. So, it can be anything you want. Now, now we're going to create our own variable. So, um, I'm going to call this, I have no table. It doesn't matter. So, and uh, I need to do hero dot find nearest enemy. Great. So our hero looks around. Hey, hero, look around and see who's closest to you. See the closest enemy. Name them table. And now then, I need to attack table. I don't have to put this in quotes because it's a variable and not a name. Attack table. Okay. Let's see how that does. You can also, it suggests using enemy 3. That would do the exact same thing. If I wrote enemy 3 here, like they do, I would just have to write it here and here. Run. And looks like we're good. And I want to point out, look, this guy's named table because that's what we chose over here. Okay? Variables can be really tricky at first. Let's keep going. 